just uh, this week did a live video and in the video I uh, made a mention of I was I was more like pleading please don't vote for more taxes <laughs> Oh, uh, so I, I said, you know, let me clarify myself uh, with with the folks so at least people would understand. And look, this channel, um, yes, you're going to come here and you'll learn about how to fix a vacuum and things like that. And you'll also uh, get to know who the way, you know, this is the way I move, this is where I operate, this is how I problem solve, okay? That's really what the channel is all about if you really think about it. And uh, and once in a while, I'll share a view on something. You know, I might share a view of the way I look at cleaning, maybe the way I look at um, success even, because it is all part of what we're doing here. You know, there is something that really kind of um, always bugged me about when I hear people say things like tax the rich, right? And, you know, you kind of wonder, where is this coming from? You know what um what part of our human nature is so excited to see people who are doing better according to our perception of what better is and we want to 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 really just kind of see them fall or something you know um because you're working for a company for the most part that the head of the company <coughs> excuse me the head, head of the company is probably someone who's doing very well. Probably. And let's imagine if all the wishes that you have, because it's always projected outwards and away from your life, like, right? you know, hurt them, you know, not us, right, on this side. But the head of the company is a part of your life. That person is running a business. They probably are successful. They probably have some money. And then you're chanting with whoever that politician is that's telling you this, uh, we got to tax them, they got to pay their fair share, we got to tax them more. And historically, because some of us don't really pay attention to that, and it's not not anyone's particular fault, I, I just think that we get so caught up in our everyday lives, we don't have time to think about anything like that, especially after school is over, that it started out as, uh, you know, uh, I guess it was normally during war times where we were receiving taxation. And then after that, it was, uh, you know, like, you, know, you have products, you know, you have tax on products. And then I was like, yeah, we're gonna tax this to rich people, that we're gonna tax their income, right? It, and it, it was always outward. We're gonna tax their income, right? And then it kind of trickled down to the middle class income uh, people, and then it got trickled down to everybody now gets taxed. So why would we think that when you now buy into this, tax the rich because they're, de they're, they're digging into that part of your human nature that's like, those people are doing better than us. They, have, they, they must be evil. They must be um, doing something wrong in order for them to be rich. So rich people equals bad. So if you're an aspiring person trying to become successful in whatever endeavor you're doing, Somewhere inside of you, if you hold on to this premise, somewhere inside of you is this thing that says you should not be like those guys because they're evil, right? Think about it. Think about the kind of the game is playing on your brain, okay? So you're trying to become successful, but guess what? Successful people are evil and, and they're bad, okay? And we should rob them. If you really think about it, we need to tax them more. You're saying, would you say that about your neighbor across the street? Because we already are taxed more based on our income bracket, okay? And certain laws are passed by the same politicians that will protect their income because they, they walk in there making, I don't know, 170, 275, whatever the income is. It's, it's, it's about, you know, what what an executive would make, okay? And they leave out of there millionaires, some of them hundreds of millions. So something is happening. It's what it is, right? Okay. I'm not telling them not to make their money, okay? But when we are taxpayers put, putting money into a system that is supposed to help keep our roads and our schools and everything else, you want it to be managed properly. It makes sense. That is a, just a very common sense approach to 
why you don't want mis mishandling of funds, you know? But, and so income is already taxed at a higher uh, bracket as the money goes up. So they already tax more. But those laws that allow a person to say, well, I have um, my regular income, I have, uh, maybe you make, there's a W-2 income, there's a 1099, there's a, um, you have income from uh, capital gains, you have in income from investments, you have income, yeah, you know, there's ways, of course, that is allotted for people to, to not just be taxed at the most ridiculous rate by just having, you know, five million dollars a year that is just going to be taxed like a w-2 right because if it was you okay you wouldn't want to do that why do you think you have tax deductions and write-offs and and uh tax credit why do you think you are excited about those things because no you don't want to just give away a big fraction of the money that you work your butt off to earn okay so that attitude is so destructive. It 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 doesn't lend to creative con. You know, like very, you know, uh, well thought out decision making. It's just so a very at the base of human envy and desire and all that stuff. And we're making a decision from that point of view. You know, so if your son is successful do you really want your son to be taken advantage of just because he's successful so when you say that that's someone else's son that is successful that you're advocating for them to take more of that person's money doesn't mean that they're not paying taxes when they say these people don't pay taxes no that's not the truth okay because if, if if walmart comes into town and our local government says we're going to give you a tax break uh, to come into town right at that moment, you're not complaining because you want the jobs from the Walmart or from the factory or from the Amazon or whoever it is. The tax break that they're getting is because they're bringing in 500 employees, let's say, and the government is going to be collecting money, income taxes from those individuals. So because they're collecting income tax from the individuals, they got an incentive to bring those jobs into the area. So now you're telling <laughs> now those same politicians like we need to make sure they tax more. We got to make sure these corporations. Now I get it when you say, "Hey, listen, if you're going to take the jobs away from America, okay, um, then we're going to put you're going to have to pay more money to bring those products back in." I get that. I I, I totally get that. It's almost like ter it's almost like territory beef war, <laughs> where it's like the mobsters. <laughs> hey, you know you want to sell on my territory. <laughs> That's what it is, man. You know, um, love the country, love the opportunities, but man, we gotta we gotta stop getting bamboozled by uh, some of these these concepts that are against us. You know, we we all want to be successful, and for the ones who who don't want to be filthy rich successful, you still want to be successful at your job, at your family, successfully paying for your mortgage, successfully taking care of your children, successfully doing these things. We all want to be successful, okay? Yes. So let's not, you know, be so negative towards individuals who are doing a little bit better because those same people are giving your, your friend a job. <clears throat> they may be giving you a job. They may be helping to build the next, you know, school. They may be helping to design the next, you know, electric train or whatever, you know, whoever that is. But now you you want them to be slapped up and uh, abused. It's ridiculous. Let's not think like that. So I just kind of wanted to make sure that I get that out so it doesn't look like I'm just like an anti-tax type. I'm not anti-tax, you know. I understand uh, the idea of hey, you know, we have a system that, that needs to continue to to thrive, uh, but I am about, you know, why not do these things responsibly? You know, let's, let's, let's not waste it, okay? Trust, there's more than enough money for all these people to continue to make money. They, they, they already got their hookups in government, you know what I mean? They're, they're gonna make their money, they're gonna be successful when they come out, they're gonna have income for life. Let's not squeeze us any more than we need to. That's all that is.
doesn't mean that we want to do away with the tax. It doesn't even mean that I want to do it with, with the government. Okay? So, that's all. <laughs> There's more to me than just turning screws and unclogging vacuums. Uh, but I just want to kind of explain that a little bit. Hopefully, uh, I didn't go too too far with it. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.